Hey, what's up traders? Dave FX Hunter here. In this video, I want to show you how to do the day trading. So first of all, uh, day trading does not mean trading every day because we need to find good setups, right? As well, day trading does not mean that I'm looking only to the small time frames. I, we need to have big picture scenario, for example, as I have here on the Euro USD, right? So I'm basically completely uh, following uh, from the weekly time frame I left the monthly because it's too big maybe for me uh, so I have the weekly I go daily then I go four hours uh, and uh, I analyze the institutional levels supply demands levels or the order blocks if you will uh, and based on that uh, I add uh, as well the COT analysis into my charts uh, which I have this application and uh, this is my COT and by, uh, actually this will be available soon again and here I actually analyze uh, what the market makers are doing. So right now we are looking to the euro and we can see that they are growing their long positions, right? And what they're doing with the shorts, they closing them, right? So we can see that the overall uh, the exposure is growing and the net positions on the euros are growing from the negative to the positive. So that's giving me the bullish sentiment, however, it of course can still drop all over because there is not only the non-commercials but as well the non-commercials which is the other side and it's the hedgers so these can move the markets as well right so yeah okay so let's go to the to the euro chart uh, so we have it here and uh, what actually i was uh, looking for in here is that we had uh, this wrench on the december in here where the banks added more than 50k contracts right so we can see it here on the cot uh, during the december they've been adding uh, a lot of contracts so basically they went from the from the minus let's say minus 22 to the plus 24 which was on the beginning uh, of the february so in here they added uh, we can see 18th uh, here is the 18, okay, 17, 18 is somewhere here. So basically in this range, they added this uh, much 50K longs, right? What then happened is that they moved the markets higher and then big manipulation lower and then the price is moving higher again, right? So let me bring back the COT again. And we can see that the during last three weeks, which is actually, uh, which is actually, what is this? Okay, so during the last three weeks, which is actually in, uh, we have here the data reports, one, two, three. So basically in this period, they added this, right? So they've been building the longs positions, right? Well, most likely that uh, they probably closed something in here, which we don't see in this period. However, the overall picture is bullish. They're doing some bullish things, right? They did not do... Uh, this all work uh, or three months work to bring the markets lower again uh, I mean it of course can drop uh, lower to these levels and then bounce higher but I don't think we will go down like somewhere to the hell right so okay so this is what I have uh, on my bigger picture right so right now we have dropped lower we tested this uh, daily trend line which was tested a uh, second time, then the price dropped to the four hour level, right? So from here, we could be looking for the long, but we must have in our mind that uh, these uh, banks motherfuckers have a big capital and then, came then they can manipulate the market slower, right? So anyway, uh, based on this, I will be looking for the trade in this level right uh, of course not here because uh, here i don't see anything and it doesn't tell me nothing so i must go to my mt4 platform and i go to the euro usd right so we are now in this uh, four hour level so what i do always is that i go to this four hour chart and i want to draw this level right which is actually this one and we can see as well it's in the confluence with the with this uh, whole number level which is a perfect and we can see as well that in here uh, when the price started to move higher here uh, we have the nice volume right then the volume was dropping and uh, then we have some closing volume above what they did actually here look we had this uh, double top right then uh, this looks a lot of bullish so many people expecting to, to trade it higher 
and I actually had a long year as well last week, but I closed that uh, because uh, I don't feel myself as a swing trader, long term trader anymore. So I do like most like most likely intraday trades. But anyway, it was quite long trade because uh, you can see here you can get 50, 60 pips. Uh, so what they did, uh, basically what I think is that a lot of people enter that long in here, right? The breakout traders and then big manipulation down, right? So right now we are again in this four hour level, right? Uh, then we have another four hour level in here, of course. Uh, that's going to be the another level. And this is where the price could go. But uh, of course, I will not hold this. Even though I am the long, I think the price will go long term higher. Uh, I'm not gonna hold this trade because it will be too much stressful for me. The price will most likely do something like this, you know, then it can drop, you know, or something like that, or, or it can go, you know, something like uh, this. And, uh, you know, every this move is very stressful for me, you know. So, what I'm gonna better do is uh, what I'm doing is I'm going low in, lower time frame and I'm looking for the day traded day trades, right? So, I go 15 minutes, so I have this four hour level, and we can see we have the reaction in here. And now, uh, now uh, you can see on this. Uh, on this template, which is actually this uh, PVSRA or uh, price volume support resistance analysis template, which is uh, made by, uh, how is this guy called? A trader at Home, which is a guy from the Forex Factory Forum. He created this. It's not my creation. And it's actually very good. I'm using it since 2014, maybe, or something like that. And uh, yeah, so what we can see here, the price was dropping, then we can see stopping volume, right? We can see the volume is coming to the market, so this is a stopping volume, and if is it, uh, if the volume is coming below the, this is the quarter level, half level, and we have the whole numbers, right? That's where the most likely banks are trading. So we can see the volume is coming below the level, so they are filling their orders, right? Right now, uh, what is very important for me, yes, I can see some reaction and uh, uh, as said, uh, probably the price could go higher to this levels, right? But I'm not going to trade all this way up. Uh, I would be happy if, uh, if I can make some money uh, on the trades. If we look to this structure, we can see that here on this break, of course, that was made by the banks. They had to be trading in here and I believe that this is uh, another another level here here as well it's a whole number level right so that's a perfect confluence so i think that uh, i will be happy with uh, such a trade because in here i don't know if we will get this again right and then manipulation lower or whatever so yeah this looks good uh and uh, right now what i'm gonna do right now uh, now important is to go uh, to five minutes charts uh, go five minutes okay sorry this is five and right now you can see this, uh, this F. That is a Frankfurt, which is a German, uh, which is a German uh, market open, and it's actually gonna be in the couple of minutes, right? So here will be the market open in the, in the Frankfurt. Then we have the London, then London, and then we have a New York, and then we have the London close, right? So uh, right now we've been trading in the Hong Kong, which is an Asian session. So. Uh, what I'm always looking for when I'm seeing that uh, this is uh, clearly accumulation, right? How I can how I can spot that? Uh, look at this uh, where these uh, climax candles uh, are creating. Uh, uh, when these candles are getting this color, that means that the volume was there, right? And if we look at it, uh, it's most likely growing on the bottoms of this uh, accumulation, right? It's not on the tops. If it would be on the top, that would mean that we will most likely see the price going lower, right? So, yes, we have the accumulation ongoing. And uh, what I will be waiting for is uh, for the for the drop and then uh, the move higher, right? So currently, the next hour, I will be looking for the, for the potential entry, right? So what we can draw as well here is uh, we had some, uh, let me make it lower. So we had some as well, the trend line break. Uh, and uh, here, where this happened, uh, here is of course a potential uh, order block where was, where we could be looking for the trade, right? This uh, level I can delete and I don't need this one anymore. Uh, let me bring it back to the 15 minutes. Okay. 
so here is uh, where I want to be uh, where I want to enter to the market right so how I will do that because I don't know if it will drop back down again or if it will go straight away up right now right so what I will do uh, is uh, this account is uh, how much I have on this one here is a 25,000 so I will of course not open five lots uh, right now right so what I'm gonna do uh, how I trade mostly is that if I have uh, uh, basically each uh, two thousand dollars each two thousand dollars is for me zero point zero one right so that's uh, easy for me because I know that uh, with with trading 2000 0 0.01 I can build more positions right and I, then I can scale close something at Tesla so basically it, this way I can make some small profits right so for example if we look uh, let's say last month you can see 4000 even trading quite small positions you can see here uh, 0 0.0.10 0 0.30 right uh, while having a 20k 20k account right it, it, I know some people would say, oh, 0 0.10, I'm trading it with 1,000, but uh, that's not the way, right? And I'm telling you, uh, this is a, only this way you can have a long-term training. And those people who will be telling you trade bigger positions, they will not have any good uh, results. And I can show you that uh, I got uh, quite good results, I think. I could be proud of it uh, because since 2018 until now, uh, I got... I have made on this account, uh, we can see it here, 2,024.9%, uh, uh, right? So basically initial deposit was 3,000, profit is 62,000, right? 39,000 already withdraw it, right? So, uh, and as well here, this is a Darwin X uh, competition where I'm currently on the first position. You can see FHE P perk, which is my surname so I'm uh, basically the number one right now right and if I win it this month I will be funded with the 500k uh, for the trading so uh, yeah so this is the way to trade so what I'm gonna do right now as said uh, my account is right now 25,000 so each 2,000 is uh, 0 0.01 right so that would be something like uh, 0 0.12 will be my position right so uh, I can I'm not gonna open one big position here but I'm gonna open with the 0 0.12 couple smaller positions right and uh, what I'm gonna do is I can set up uh, I can set up uh, my limit here right and uh, as well I want to have a I want to have an alarm and uh, I want to have an alarm alert here if that happens as well uh, this uh, template can give you the alert when the when the volume is coming right so yeah now uh, I'm ready for this uh, and I will be looking for the some of uh, some profit targets uh, in here uh, basically once the price start to move higher I will be looking for the profit target here because it's a quarter so basically you see 30 pips and uh, something I want to hold uh, uh, I would be happy to close it here, right? So this is the range daily high, which is actually changing every day. So basically, if the if I miss sometimes some trade and price is close to the range daily high, that means that it has made its move already. So it's late to enter. So yeah, uh, I will be looking for the trade in here. I will set up uh, another another trade in here, and uh, yeah, we will see. Uh, as well what I forgot to mention what is important for me is uh, always to look for the what dollar is doing right so we have the I speculate that uh, the euro could make uh, this pullback until this level it's actually this uh, POC as well here and if you look to the dollar we can see uh, I think the dollar can go higher right but currently it can go a bit lower into this level or into this level right which would be uh, this drop and uh, if this drops lower lower most likely uh, then then this go higher right <laughs> and that's it right so yeah um, very simple if you want to simply download this uh, I will I will put this template uh, as well with all these indicators to my uh, telegram channel for the download 
So, or if you want to contact me, I will leave the contact uh, in below this video. All right, my friends, I wish you happy trading. Bye-bye.